Hello, how are you? And today we have a bicuspid in shade Y3. What is shade? What is it? Shade Y3. This is it. And uh, in my opinion, is very close to shade A3. Even though the dentin would be like of a lower level, lower value. But it is pretty much A3 with uh, a lot more translucency and a lot more incise. Also, you would see all this area over here and a little bit even over like down the mesial and distal and even by the uh, margin, by the um, cervical part is kind of opal. So that's the main distinct uh, difference between A3 and um, Y3. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to build that. Without further ado, first, even though uh, Y3 is way more translucent than A3, the value is not lower. So then I'm going to use some um, inside to start building it. Inside is 45, 20% uh, and uh, 44, about 60% and 20% 51. So I'm going to put some on um, mesial. Oh, I mean, um, I'm going to put some on the lingual too. But very, very thin layer, like this, very little bit. And the uh, next step, where I have so much space, I am applying um, FD92. You see, I think what happened was that uh, I'm building next to a crown, which is, it's okay made, you know. Nothing wow, but well, I'm gonna put some inside on the occlusion. Yeah, but I think somebody made this crown very translucent. That's why the doctor had to take this, um, you know, try to mimic that shade somehow. Now the body. Body is A3. You see how big that crown is? It's huge. The bicuspid isn't supposed to be that tall. You know, it's uh, almost as tall as the cuspid. I don't know why it's like that. But it is what it is. The patient most likely is not going to change that crown. So we're just going to have to... You see over here is a natural tooth. That's how big is his bicuspid is. And here is the crown. <laughs> it's gigantic. Anyhow, so as you saw in the beginning when I was showing, there is a lot of this opal porcelain that was applied, and uh, I 
I'm gonna do it too right now. All right, look at the his molar. So I'm not gonna make anything as big like this. All right, so for that I'm using, for Opal, I'm using EOP2. Or you can use uh, any Opal. So where I usually apply um, my um, translucency um, this time I'm gonna apply opal porcelain all around like that and some on the lingual cusp just like that Okay, and now I'm gonna apply a little bit of translucent over here. Okay, and cover it all up with. Yeah, cover it all up with um, 58 enamel. I am building my crown bigger than I want it to be in the end because I have a lot of space in this case. So. I'm gonna build it much taller than I'm planning it to be to compensate for shrinking. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so the crown came out. As you can see, this and this are crowns, they're huge. And this is his natural teeth, so I made myself mine small, like the natural one. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's see the shade. Shade is Y3. Yeah, so I think it came out pretty good. All right, see you. Bye bye.